Today we're in chapter 10, verses 8 to 11. So Moses and Aaron were brought back to Pharaoh, and he said to them, Go, serve the Lord your God. Who are the ones that are going? Moses said, We shall go with our young and our old, with our sons and our daughters, with our flocks and our herds. We shall go, for we must hold a feast to the Lord. Then he said to them, Thus may the Lord be with you, if ever I let you and your little ones go. Take heed. For evil is in your mind, not so. Go now, the men among you, and serve the Lord, for that is what you desire. So they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. So Pharaoh gives permission for some of the Hebrews to go, but he wants to keep the children as hostages? That's not okay. Now, the only words spoken by Moses and Aaron in this interview are when he says, but but who will go? And they say, well, you know, we're taking our kids, everybody. We're taking everybody and the animals. And this might have been a point, a cultural point. We're not completely clear on this, but for the women to go. In Egyptian religion, it's, it seems that in some cases that the women were secondary. It was important for the men to be involved, but not for the women. And so for the Hebrews to say, we're going, our men and our women, our children, everybody, uh, the Pharaoh wouldn't have necessarily thought, well, I thought, that's weird. We don't, we don't do that, and why should they do that? So he wanted to keep the women from going. Women don't need to be in worship, but God's people are made in God's image. Male and female made he them in his image. So male and female worship together, not just the males. Now, almost the entire interview is here is dictation from Pharaoh. Pharaoh will allow the men to go, and there's no further discussion. He drives out. Moses and Aaron. This is just a summary declaration from Pharaoh. Get him out of here. Now, Pharaoh's driving out Moses and Aaron will hopefully remind you, if you were back when we were in chapter 6, chapter 6, verse 1 of Exodus, how Pharaoh would ultimately drive all the people out. And so I'm sure that as Moses heard this and Aaron heard this, they thought about that. Well, yeah, that's what's actually going to happen. It's not that you're going to drive us out. You're going to drive out all, all the Hebrews. So the, uh, the plagues here continue, and we're nearing the end of the showdown, and we'll see what happens tomorrow.